Welcome back to Google Guru. Today I'm going to go over one of the most basic things that you can do in Google Drive. And that's adding a file or a folder to your own drive. And there's been some recent updates to Drive, so I kind of wanted to go over this again for new users and then people who are still a little bit unfamiliar with the new look. So I'm going to open up Drive. So obviously you're not going to add a file to your Drive if you've created it. But if somebody's shared a file with you, you might want to have that file stored on your Drive rather than theirs. This will allow you to access it across multiple platforms and devices. And of course with Google Drive it's really easy to do. So for example, this Guru Contributor header right here was not created in my drive, it was shared with me. But if I click on the checkbox at the top left corner, this Add to My Drive icon appears. So when I click on that, you can see that the image has been added to my drive. So that way I'll be able to access it from my drive. This also applies to folders. So, for example, this Seasonal Gurus folder was shared with me. If I open it up, I can look at all these past and future Seasonal Gurus. And so, same thing, when I click on the checkbox at the top left-hand corner, this Add to My Drive icon appears. So I click Add to My Drive, and I'll be able to access it from My Drive. So let's go into there and you can see the Guru Contributor header and the Seasonal Gurus folder. So that was just a quick little lesson on one of the basic tools for Google Drive. If you're not used to online collaboration and the cloud features that come with Google Drive, then this is something that you might not have been aware of, but it's definitely a useful feature for everyone. If you have any questions about this or any other video, please leave us a comment in the section below. Thanks.